Hi, this is Mike again. This is the third video in our Moodle series. And on our last video, we ended on the support page. There was one thing I forgot to mention, that in addition to the resources on this page and the ability to create a ticket, DigitalOcean also has a, a searchable resource page at digitalocean.com forward slash community. They've got some fairly good resources there. Next up is DNS. All we want to do here is associate a registered domain name with a, a droplets IP address. This would be step one. Once we've done this, what we need to do in order to make this work is go to your register go to the registrar where you have your domain name registered. They'll have a list of name servers in the account associated with this domain name. Change this, the name servers on the registrar to the name servers listed here in DigitalOcean. Once you've done that, it'll take a few hours to propagate to the internet. And then once, once that propagation is complete, then this domain name will be associated with this IP address. The API, we won't be using that. The API simply allows automation of any of the functionality that's on or in the DigitalOcean control panel, which is really nice, but we just won't be using any of that. So let's go to our droplet and log in the console. If you don't see the screen, press any key and it should become visible. So let's log in as root. Also, I did go to the, I did get the email that was sent to the account with the root password. And the very first thing that you want to do is to change the password on the root account. The command is PS KFSWD. Clearly, so we've, we've changed the password. Using this console is really inefficient. In the next video, uh, video I will go through how to set up a little better system and for SSH. So let's. Well, let's just stop, stop here for now, and I'll see you in the next video.